New information tonight about the person arrested in the death of a blind Manatee County woman whose body was then set on fire. As Jake Peterson reports, we're learning this was not a random killing. Deputies say Dakota Gibson and Veronica Polite knew each other, and they say the two were out driving around doing drugs a few hours before her body was found right here burning in these woods. And now those who knew the two are asking why. He was just, he was creepy. That's how neighbor Amanda Capen describes accused killer Dakota Gibson. Definitely didn't think that they were going to do something like that to her. She never did anything to anybody. Capen says she saw the victim, Veronica Polite, just hours before she went missing. She was outside. She was dressed up really nice. She asked me for a ride to the store. And that's the last time she ever saw her. A few hours later, a homeless person finds Polite's body burning in this industrial area. We're going to be developing more as this case moves along. Sheriff spokesperson Dave Bristow says at some point, Polite and Gibson meet up to drive around and do drugs. Then something must have set him off. We don't know what that something was. It may come out eventually, but what we know is uh, we have him off the streets. The ME's office reporting she was killed first by blunt force trauma and then set on fire. I definitely feel bad about it. This neighbor now wondering if things could have turned out differently. I kind of wish I could have just maybe given her a ride and then that wouldn't have happened. Gibson is in jail with no bond. Reporting in Manatee County, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News.